I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at realmoney.com. Every night we watch the same shows, Fast Money and Mad Money, and we want to use those ideas to grow our money. Well, good trading takes more than just writing down the tickers you see on TV every night and punching the buy button the next morning. I can help you know when to buy these three stocks I saw on TV. Today let's look at Laurelard, Pandora, and Mattel. Last night on uh, Fast Money, they were looking at some of the lower beta stocks that traders could uh, own in this market. Tim Seymour's idea was Lorillard. So we'll look at the chart here. Here's the daily chart. He says this is a cash machine. These guys sport a 4.8% dividend, which ain't too bad. Uh, here was uh, resistance right here at 116. The stock has peaked, rallied clear up here, and now it's back. You know that. You don't need my narration. What the heck do we do about this thing? Um, look at the weekly chart, and you can see the same thing. This thing's been on a tear. It's been right to own it. Screw the 4.8% dividend. It doesn't matter. Just own the stock. But the stock's not right to buy right now. you got to let this thing cool off a little bit. Wait for it to come down to around 120-ish or so before you consider buying it. Now, next up is Pandora. You know, these guys announced earnings. They missed uh, by quite a bit. The stock kind of got crushed. So what do you want to do? You want to buy this stock uh, right now. Stock's trading at about 11 bucks or so. That's down here below this support level. That leaves, guess what? All of these folks here, they're losers, okay? I don't mean that in a pejorative way. I mean, if you bought, you're losing money. So the stock's down here. It's got to chew through all of these folks, all the supply that's created by these folks who just want their money back. I don't think this is a stock that you buy on dips. I think you let the stock trade up a bit, but just let it settle out. It's going to take quite a while for this, uh, you know, for buyers to chew through all this supply. And even then, honestly, I think you probably do better. Think about it. You got 80 gazillion stocks to buy. Do you really want to buy Pandora? Now, a name that Karen Feinerman likes is Mattel. So we'll check this thing out. Nice uptrend, weekly chart. It's kind of pulled away from the trend, really. Basically, you look at this. Stocks on a tear right there. There's support, resistance. We've got a breakout. A lot of times you'll see a move like this occur and it actually kind of marks the top. I'm not saying that's the case here. I, I don't know that, uh, but I know this. We draw our support line or we draw our resistance line, I should say, right here. And that's really the new support. We can even draw a tighter support line there. If you're buying here, keep a stop here. If you're waiting for the pullback, Buy it right down about 30, maybe 29 bucks or so, and there's your trade on Mattel. Okay, that's it for today. A couple things. First of all, get over to Real Money Pro and subscribe, okay? There's a lot of great writers over there. I publish articles four days a week with five charts a day. That's going to give you some good trades. Also, I want you to check out my chart of the day. It's a free service over at stockmarketmentor.com. I send you one charting video a day with a good trade. But also, one other thing. Look, if you haven't taken advantage of my free 30-day trial, get over there right now and do that. Again, it's free. Like, in other words, there's really nothing to lose. When are you going to find that this day and age? So get over to stockmarketmentor.com. Take that free 30-day trial, and my bet is you're going to stick around. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, and I'll be right back here tomorrow. This market is stock pickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to.